Hey guys, I had a canceled case and part of my pack had a bovie and I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you how to plug it in or how it works and what it looks like. So you get familiarized with the equipment in the OR. So when you open it, it looks like this. It has this little plastic thing what you, where you can use to uh, put your bovie so that it doesn't kind of accidentally burn the patient. A surgeon actually wants this all the time in the field. I'll show you guys how to hook it up in your mayo stand one of these days when I get another case. But today I'm going to show you how it looks like. There was a plastic thing that was covering this and I already threw it away. This is what it looks like. The blue is coag and what does that say? Cut. The other one is cut. Okay. So you pass the end to the nurse and she's going to plug it in. Does it matter if it's monopolar one or monopolar two? No, it doesn't. As long as if you plug it into this one, you have to um, adjust this. Bipolar is not the same as a monopolar. This is for like neuro stuff. And then this is for the ligature. And this is the thing for it. Okay, so once that's plugged in, let's try to see if it works. Just a disclaimer. The bovie does not work if a bovie pad is not attached to the patient. So let's try and see what it would say if we press on it. So <laughs> REM pad contact quality. Connect REM pad, check connection at patient site, and replace REM pad. So just as I <laughs> suspected, you cannot use a bovie if the bovie pad is not connected at all if this is connected to the patient and it's still doing that the first thing you need to check is the bovie pad sometimes it crumples and it's not on proper skin contact with the patient and that's the first thing that you would check like you just pad on the leg of a patient where it was um, put in and if it's flat and it's still doing this then you unplug and unplug to double check Okay, if it's still doing that, then just trash the whole thing, get another bovie, and then if the bovie, again, does not work, then it has to be the bovie pad. Does that make sense? Those are the three things that I could think of that I have used in the past, okay? So, um, just a recap. This is a bovie pencil. This is a cut. This is coag. It goes to the monopolar, and then you have to adjust it to surgeon's preference here. And um, this pure and fulguration, that depends on a surgeon's preference, but it's always like this. Um, again, you cannot use this unless you have a bovie pad that is securely and nicely attached to the patient flat on a meaty area. And if, you, if something happens, you can um, check the REM pad first and then detach and attach it again or just uh, scrap the whole thing, either or, whichever one uh, you feel is the most priority. So for me, I always just get a brand new bovie, and if that doesn't work, and obviously this is my last resort, is to replace the bovie pad. And that's it. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd really appreciate subscribe and like and comment and follow my social media. Um, all the links will be down below if you guys are interested in more content, and I'll see you guys later.